హలో మిస్టర్ హరి సింగ్ హలో సార్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో యూ సెక్యూర్డ్ ఆల్ ఇండియా ర్యాంక్ త్రీ ఇన్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ నా ఎస్ సార్ బ్రీఫ్లీ అబౌట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ మిస్టర్ హరి సో బేసిక్లీ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిసార్ హర్యానా and i did my initial schooling from my village itself and okay. then i okay. went on to graduate in mechanical engineering from nit kurukshetra uh, okay and after that sir uh, i prepared for gate and esc and i got all india rank 18 in mm. engineering services 2022 uh. and also got all india rank 246 in gate 2022 okay and on the basis of that i joined npcil in 2022 mm. and after one year sir i resigned from there and i joined border roads organization and currently i am serving in manali sir acha manali okay it yes, is in uh, which state manali himachal pradesh sir himachal, himachal pradesh sir. very good very good very good sir. Uh, so you joined uh, bro in esc 2022 na yes sir see simultaneously working and preparing again for uh, this competitive exam how you could manage time sir uh, it uh, work in terms of workload sir it was not that much hectic here uh. so and uh, somewhere you are working in the defense department so the discipline comes naturally okay okay, okay. so uh, it that's why it was not that much difficult to manage both work as well as your studies uh, uh mr hari singh uh, briefly yes, about uh, the prelims your preparation for prelims sir in a uh, uh, general studies paper so general studies uh, actually we don't have that much reference mm. uh, because we have a limited number of previous year papers Mm. so only on the basis of that we can analyze and we can make our strategy so there are some subjects for example sir there is a, a mathematics aptitude these are the two main subjects where you can easily uh, get the 35 to 40 marks mm. and up, up, mechanical some topics are very easy to understand na? yes yeah. sir yes sir and apart from this uh, for uh, sir uh, drawing drawing uh, uh-huh. uh, can give standards. you good marks because, standards also uh, 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 standards sir mm. so uh, uh, material science is uh, ah, yes, this is yes. common in mechanical as well as in gs uh, and what is your preparation for uh, current affairs so current affairs uh, i didn't study huh? <laughs> because uh, you have to balance that if uh, i am unable to read current affairs then the same marks i can score in the technical whether you followed all subjects of mechanical engineering or you left some of the subjects in preparing for prelims no sir in prelims i didn't uh, leave any of the subject so because, no compromise uh, sir because prelims is all about the uh, how wide you are covering the subject because it, it doesn't require that much in depth knowledge okay see calculate is not allowed na, in prelims uh, but uh, generally in mechanical engineering and even civil engineering also numerical questions require calculator so yes, how you have attempted those questions so uh, basically it comes from the regular practice sir because when when you are uh, regularly practicing then uh, somehow you because you are not uh, about to solve the question exact uh, you yes, have to basically choose the one option Uh, so it doesn't require uh, that uh, to reach uh, the ex- exact answer uh, more important thing is you have to choose one option only yes whether time was sufficient uh, in the prelims paper for you sir uh, basically this is my strength sir calculation sir uh, so for me uh, definitely time was sufficient sir sufficient yes sir <laughs> because such a lengthy vast paper i think 150 questions na in general yes sir uh, and i attempted 147 this year in prelims 147 very remarkable yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, okay uh, coming to the mains exam subject yes, paper it is a question come answer booklet yes sir uh, what is the preparation strategy you followed for 
subjective papers sir uh, prelim uh, after clearing the prelims in main sir major thing is you have to uh, reach at the right answer at yes. the end of the question Correct. and that requires a lot of practice hmm. because and the reference you have is the previous year questions hmm. from there you can get an uh, relative idea that which subjects upsc is going towards more and more these are rep repetitive subject for example in our uh, paper 2 sir robotics robotics is somewhere the subject where they are they are asking repetitive questions correct correct so, so you have to sir uh, because this year time was also limited only two months were there have you studied robotics in your btech no sir no so it First is time i studied question. for the, uh, engineering services only sir uh, that uh, energy resources some paper is a subject is also there na no? as a there uh, i took some different subjects sir but i never studied robotics before the my exam uh, so self preparation yes sir very good very good so what is your favorite subject in mechanical engineering sir uh, i am very much comfortable in paper 1 sir thermal thermal, thermal. so paper 2 means uh, production etc ha uh, production and design design correct yes, correct sir. so uh, anyway what about your uh, interview session sir interview session uh, definitely this year it went really good hmm. because how much time we have taken for you sir around it was around 25 minutes discussion That's all. yes uh -huh. sir but uh, initially panel uh, the chairman asked me about my uh, hobbies which are, which was sports and hmm. then as i am posted in manali so recently there were flash floods in manali so uh -huh. there was uh, two three minute discussion on the uh, what are the reasons what are the cause So, so they asked is... some questions in general studies also. So uh, apart from chairman, they asked mainly <clears throat> uh, main discussion or technical. Uh, 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 technical, sir. No general studies questions. No general studies questions. No current affairs questions. No, not current affairs because the more my interview was more inclined towards my uh, job profile, sir. Job profile. Uh, yes, sir. Because you are working border. Yes. Routes. Yes, sir. Uh, any questions on hobbies? Hobbies, sir. Uh, there was only one question initially because I, I am a national level hockey player, sir. Ah, uh, great. Uh. So the initial uh, two three questions were from the sports, sir. Sports related yes. to hockey or any other? Uh... No, uh, specifically. Uh, first question was about the sports culture in India, uh -huh. difference between cricket and other sports, uh -huh. and then uh, further questions were only related related to hockey, sir. Okay. So anyway, Mr. Hari Singh. Uh, i want to mm, have your advice sir for those who are in btech uh, second year third year sir what is your suggestion to them to crack engineering service exam or even gate exam also sir uh, major thing is uh, for example if we talk about engineering services it has different stages mm. prelims require something different mains require something different but the core concepts are the basic understanding of any subject mm. that is the most primary importance because yeah. first of all you have to study and understand the subject properly mm -hmm. then you can apply your knowledge according to the exam for example in prelims you need to solve questions quickly you doesn't need any depth uh, more, more depth but you have to wide your uh, reach so in if anyone is in second year third year sir i would suggest uh, please uh, focus on your technical subjects because you at that uh, uh, point of time you have enough time for each subject correct because correct. after btech if you are, uh, are uh, coming in the coaching then you have definitely you have really good teachers but you have very limited time for each subjects yes limited time yes so sir. along with the university syllabus they can focus a little extra with respect yes, to competitive exam pattern that's all yes sir yes sir uh, another thing see there are certain btech completed students sir they have written the is exam es exam with you they are not sir. successful sir what is your suggestion to them sir uh, it is a uh, we can say the exam is of relative sir uh, relative correct sir mm. for example i got selected someone is not selected so correct. there is not much difference Uh, so 
at this stage of time because uh, it had it has happened with me in the past sir uh, there i couldn't clear the gate with good rank couldn't clear the mains of engineering services in 2021 so the that rather than blaming yourself you should introspect mm. where i went wrong mm. and how can i improve again mm. because uh, now only the two months are left for the next prelims correct, correct. so at this stage of time you can't uh, lose your focus in thinking ki why i didn't get selected this year mm. so rather than thinking about this we we need to quickly <clears throat> think that how we can improve in the next uh, next year cycle yeah coming to the mechanical engineering aapko malum hai we have seen so many youtube shots in social media are mechanical bekar hai isko job nahi milega so aajkal shaadi hona bhi mushkil hua bol ke aisa aa rahe na so what is your opinion about the future of mechanical engineering sir definitely uh, even if we talk uh, about in my job profile also sir job uh, previously all the vehicle and equipment used to be mainly mechanical and hydraulically driven correct but now <laughs> the technology has improved and now lot of sensors are coming yes but the core components remains the same same for example if the shaft you can't replace shaft with some another technology shaft you have to use yes so similar research components definitely <clears throat> remains same mm. but the uh, uh, for example my job profile is about the maintenance of the vehicles and equipments so sir i i can use now better technology has come with the help of that i can maintain my vehicle and equipment more in a good way so basic core will never is it evergreen yes sir that's why it is evergreen sir mechanical so is evergreen sir so you say that mechanical engineers will have future definitely sir definitely sir so you recommend any fresh uh 12th class guy if he's interested to take mechanical engineering in btech you recommend him definitely sir okay okay har singh ji thank you thank you uh congratulations once again thank uh, you sir pranams to your parents also thank, thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir